What is up, everybody? This is Ray from Radar Reviews. I was fixing something over there and I forgot I hit the record button. Anyway, Dave Chappelle has a two part performance. One, Equanimity. The other one is called The Bird Revelation. Equanimity was more more regular comedic and he spoke about racism, Trump, the government today, government from the 1960s and 70s. Uh, watch my review. I'll link it in the description below if anything. Now, The Bird Revelation is a bit of a different take of a comedy stand up. Okay, so. The Bird Revelation, a little bit more intimate in tone because it wasn't just like he was standing in front of like thousands of people in a stadium, like more, more toward what equanimity was. He's like more like in a, a, a smoking lounge type of scenario where he has a couple hundred people around him and he's just smoking a cigarette while talking, whatever, sitting on a stool. It seemed way more intimate. Besides that tone, that, that tonal difference, he, he also had this this way about him, the way he was carrying himself, like in equanimity, he was a little bit more like cool, calm, relaxed, but still like live. In the Bird Revelation, he wasn't just cracking jokes, just trying to make you laugh. He was more like trying to teach you a lesson. He goes off speaking about stories uh, of, of other comedians and things that happened to him and how it compares to him. And there's a specific topic throughout the entire a set that he's giving. Everything is pertaining to women's rights, minorities' rights, uh, over past transgressions of racism, current transgressions of racism, future transgressions of racism. When he's talking about this, but he's trying to keep it a little bit more lighthearted, but then he starts going off in these stories and, and it's just, like when he was talking about a book that he read that was printed in 1930s, I believe, if I remember correctly, or 1940s. Uh, the book is called Pimp, and it was actually written by a pimp before that pimp died in real life. And listening to the story, a couple of the stories that he was referring to from the book to, to, to explain to people certain why certain things are the way they are on a much larger scale because of this design that this pimp puts into a smaller, a smaller category in his book. And but it's the same thing in larger design by business and government treating its people. It was pure, pure genius. I cannot take anything negative away from this experience that Dave Chappelle gave us in the Bird Revelation because the one, the title, the Bird Revelation, makes perfect sense when you see the entire show. The tone was great for what he was trying to speak about. He's, I, I would definitely put Dave Chappelle in the top four of greatest comedic performances or performers, comedic minds on earth, ever. Okay, ever. I'm talking about, he's up there with obviously Richard Pryor, George Carlin, even though Eddie Murphy fell off the past few years, Eddie Murphy is still one of the greats. Robin Williams, Dave Chappelle. He is one of those greats. Regardless of how much money he didn't make, how much money he does make, how much money he will make, how much anything. His mind and content and organization of that is what makes him a genius. Okay, so guys, definitely watch this Netflix uh, show. Uh, it is called Dave Chappelle Equanimity and the Bird Revelation. It was released December 31st, 2017. Um, it's obviously going to be on Netflix for about, I don't know, the next year. So yeah, definitely, definitely catch that. Do not miss that. Had me in tears, but also enlightened me about a couple of things. I'm actually going to, I'm actually planning on picking up that damn book. Okay. Thank you very much. This is Ray from Rated R Reviews. If you want to talk, chat movies, chat TV, please share, like, everything. But hit me up on Gmail, Rated Ray Reviews. I'll try to do some cool little graphics right here saying Rated Ray Reviews. Okay, everybody. Peace. Have a good day. Enjoy the weather. Hopefully it's not freezing outside for you guys. For me, it's like 70 degrees. I'm in Florida. Yay. But I have no car, so I'm stuck for the time being. Anyway. Peace out. Be safe.